I was really green, but what I was willing to do mm -hmm. was learn and work my ass off. Like mm -hmm. those are the two things I knew I was gonna do. Mm -hmm. And that's how the Nile have started, on these shoulders of a very inexperienced person. Right. And at this point in time, how are you surviving? So, Bart and I had come up with a plan. Mm -hmm. We'll raise money, a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we'll pay both my salary and his. Mm -hmm. He lives in the Netherlands. So, a lot of things are taken care of by the government. Mm -hmm. um, and the euro then was very powerful in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So, I'd be like, you pay me, a, wh how much money can you pay me? from your uh, stipend from the Netherlands because <laughs> you have unemployment compensation. <laughs> yes. So if you don't have a job, you get paid by the government. I was like, yes. bro. So he'd pay me a thousand euros, which is like 120 Gs. Yeah. And which is part of pa a part of his payment. Which is part of his pay. For unemployment. Exactly. <laughs> so and remember he still has to live and he has to pay rent and yeah. buy food. So he paid me 120,000. My firstborn baby had just been born. Mm -hmm. Never had a wedding because mm -hmm. I couldn't afford it. And for the 2009, 2010, I was on 120,000 shillings as we were building the Nile up. And when I say building, literally mean we'd buy block boards, we'd buy wood, we'd buy chairs out of then Uchumi. Mm -hmm. uh, I would wake up, go there, wipe the floor myself. I'd yeah. wipe the floor myself. I painted yeah. part of the room myself. Like I did, I have a lot of these videos. I did a lot of these things believing that it was going to be something because yeah. I remembered that work ethic is, if, if nothing else, work, ethic, work, ethic, work ethic is everything, right? Okay. And, and it was very hard for a black person to raise money in 2009, 2010. Mm -hmm. I think it's still very hard now. It's easier well, by e far. Well, easier. Like, by far. Easier, like you don't understand. <laughs> like I'd walk into rooms yeah. and I'd be, Bart would hint to me to leave because they want to talk about money. He'd be like, why don't you go so they don't talk about it when you're here? That's how bad it was because they didn't trust us. Because if you remember, it's around the yeah. time when um, the economists put out that, um, that Africa... Headline. What is that headline for Africa called? The Lost Continent. Do you remember the, the Economist? I remember. I mean, that sounds familiar. The tagline yes. sounds familiar. There's a yeah. huge... If you ever go look for the most popular, most famous, I think, not popular, most famous Economist Infamous. headline was, was The Lost continent. continent. Imagine that. So, of course, there was no money coming yeah. our way. So, um, you'd be told... like your, He would tell and, me. And, like, and how, how kindly, would, how, politely. How, how, how would that make you feel? Like trash. How is this supposed to make you feel? Yeah. Like, I can't, I'm the one who's wiping the floors, building the tables, inviting people, going for events. I'm hosting events. Like, the only way I could bring people out was emceeing. Yeah. I was emceeing events. I remember I emceed the launch of the iHub. Mm -hmm. to, because I, like, I wanted my face to be visible in the tech space. That's yeah. how, that's how, you know, we, we didn't have money. We just I mean, did he, did he feel, did your partner, about, I mean, did he feel some type of way about Yeah, it? he felt every type of way. Like, he's a good chap. Like, Bart yeah. was an amazing chap. Yeah. He felt all types of ways. But it's a systemic issue. Yeah. It's not a personal issue. Okay. It's very systemic. And so when we closed the five and a half million euros uh, in tw towards the end of 2011, mm -hmm. I was mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausted. It's this thinnest I've been mm -hmm. since high school. Smallest. Yeah. I was so unhealthy. Yeah. Hadn't seen my kid. Relationship was crumbling. Just, it was, I just didn't have it. Like, breathing was hard. Yeah. And I was like, I'm done with this. And at that point in time, how are you surviving on the 120? Where is, where is, the, where is the 120 Family. going? Like, I, it was just, it was, I was just, it was just going home. Rent, mm. food for my kids. My daughter was born with a with lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. So we were getting goat milk. Mm -hmm. Goat milk. Normal milk. One half a liter of normal milk was like 50 bob. Mm -hmm. uh, a liter of goat milk was 320. Mm -hmm. A liter. This is what she drinks daily. Mm -hmm. She doesn't eat much. Mm -hmm. And then because she was hypoallergenic, mm -hmm. I had to get Nan, the hypoallergenic one. Mm -hmm. I had numbers for every Chandarana. Like I had a person there. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Mm -hmm. So when a container comes, I go get it. A container was 1800 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think it was more, 3200, I think actually. It was expensive. Yeah. And that's what she ate. And so all your money is going there. All my money is going there. 